it's Jenna from The Balanced Biome. I'm going to be talking about magnesium today. There are so many different forms and they all have great benefits to them. So one of my favorite forms is magnesium glycinate. This one right here. And the benefits of magnesium glycinate are that it is easily absorbed and doesn't have the laxative effects like magnesium citrate. Because magnesium glycinate is bound to glycine, which is a non-essential amino acid, glycine is known for its calming properties. So oftentimes you may hear that magnesium glycinate is used before bed as a sleep aid because it has all of those nice calming properties. Magnesium glycinate may also help in terms of anxiety, depression, and any other mood-related issues because of those calming effects. There is also magnesium malate. Now this one can be great um, as far as being relaxing as well and doesn't have the laxative effects like other magnesium. It's also been shown to help with chronic conditions like fibromyalgia. Magnesium citrate is another nice form of magnesium, especially if you suffer from constipation. It has more laxative qualities to it. So today I'm talking about magnesium. So the reason I love magnesium so much is that it is involved in over 300 biochemical processes in our body. And one of the unfortunate things is that in stressful times, and our lives tend to be very stressful, we use it up more than we can usually replenish it. And while I'm a huge advocate for trying to get what you can through diet, one of the unfortunate things is that trying to boost your magnesium through diet alone is often tricky. And that comes down to the quality of our soil today. Much of our crops are depleted of magnesium. So great sources are your dark leafy greens, nuts like almonds, even avocados and dark chocolate. So in addition to it being lacking in our diets these days, the factor of stress in various forms has a huge impact. So when we think of stress, lack of sleep is actually a stress to our body and very depleting. So general stress uses up our magnesium, but also things like sugar deplete our magnesium as well. So if you are somebody that tends to have um, sugar issues, sugar can actually also be seen as a stress on our body. It actually decreases our immune function. So when we think of magnesium, sugar also depletes our magnesium in our body as well. Another thing is carbonated beverages. They will actually decrease the amount of magnesium we are able to absorb in our body. We should also pay attention to caffeinated beverages like coffee and tea. Those are diuretics that also deplete magnesium. So these are just a few of the ways that we can be depleted from magnesium. So our everyday stress in our lives, the diet and foods that we're consuming, they all have an impact on our levels of magnesium. Let me know in the comments if magnesium is a supplement that you have ever tried, if you've benefited positively from it, or what your thoughts have been. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, please click that subscribe button. I have new videos coming out every week. And let me know if there's anything that you want me to cover.